In this video, I will reveal to you step by step how to lose 10 pounds in as little as 7 days. This might seem impossible, but there are many people who have been able to lose as much as 10 pounds in a week and have managed to keep it off successfully. All you need to do is have enough self-discipline and follow the guidelines in this video. But before you go ahead with this challenge, I must warn you that healthy weight loss is usually 1 to 2 pounds per week. Losing 10 pounds in one week is risky, should not be done often, and should only be attempted with the approval of your doctor. To lose 10 pounds in one week, you'll need to burn between 3,500 and 5,000 calories more than you consume each day by restricting your diet to small portions of nutritious yet low calorie foods and significantly increasing your aerobic exercise with interval training, sports, and other vigorous activities. This goal is both risky and difficult to achieve, but it can be done. Now let's see the steps you are going to take to lose 10 pounds in 7 days. Step number 1. Understand how calories work. Take in fewer calories than you burn in a day. That's the whole secret to weight loss. And while the theory may be simple, the practice is really hard. One pound is equivalent to 3,500 calories. To lose 10 pounds in 7 days, you'll need to lose about 1.4 pounds or burn about 5,000 calories each day. Know that you will need to exercise a lot in order to burn 10 pounds in one week. Starving yourself is not an option. In fact, starving yourself makes weight loss harder, especially after you're done with your diet. Remember that you'll be burning calories while doing daily activities such as walking around, walking upstairs, and even breathing. It won't be many calories, but you don't have to expect to burn all your calories doing hard exercise. Understand that your goal is extremely challenging. If you want to lose 10 pounds in a week, you'll need to burn 5,000 calories more than you take in per day. That's a lot. It's not meant to discourage you. It's only a reminder of how hard losing 10 pounds in a week actually is. Prepare yourself for a tough, tough journey. Just to give you a bit of an idea of how much that is, consider this. A 160-pound person burns about 1,000 calories playing competitive soccer for 90 minutes. That means you'd need to play competitive soccer for 7.5 hours during the day to burn 5,000 calories. It helps to log what you eat when you're counting calories. Understand that the average person burns about 2,000 to 2,500 calories a day. This means that if you consume exactly 2,000 to 2,500 calories in food every day, your weight will stay the same. You won't gain or lose weight. If you're trying to lose weight, as you probably do, a healthy person should consume at least 1,200 calories per day, regardless of what their diet is. If you eat 1,200 calories, you'll have about 4,000 calories to burn a day to meet your goal. Step number two, pay attention to what you eat. Drink water only. Water is the dieter's best friend. Sweet, sugary, or caffeinated drinks are the enemy of the dieter. A simple sweet energy or sports drink can be as much as 400 calories. That's a third of your total calories for the entire day. Stay away from any drink but water, with one exception. Unsweetened green tea is acceptable to drink on occasion. If you're sick and tired of drinking just water day in and day out, the occasional green tea is fine. Green tea has lots of antioxidants and zero calories, which makes it fine to drink. If you're really hungry during meals, down a nice big cup of water right before you eat. This will help trick your stomach into thinking that you're more full than you actually are, making you less hungry. Cut the simple carbohydrates out of your diet. Simple carbs, also called refined carbohydrates, are usually not very nutritious for our bodies and get absorbed by the body very quickly. Stay away from simple refined carbohydrates such as these while on your diet. Cookies, candies, cakes, and other baked sweets. Honey, molasses, and syrup. White bread, white rice, and normal pasta. And many packaged cereals. Replace the simple carbs with complex carbs. Complex carbohydrates, unlike simple carbohydrates, are full of fiber as well as other nutrients and get digested by the body and released into the bloodstream far slower. Examples of complex carbs include whole grain bread, whole grain pasta, brown rice, beans and legumes such as lentils, carrots, and sweet potatoes, veggies and fruits like asparagus and apricots. Eat lean protein. Go for beef that is 98% lean and only 2% fat. Go for chicken breast without the skin attached. Soy products such as edamame or tofu are also high in protein, as are many types of fish, including salmon. Positively stay away from fast food. In addition to cooking everything in trans fat, fast food burgers, fries and shakes, or burritos, mac and cheese, or sandwiches are whoppers when it comes to salt and sugar. 
they are essentially empty carbs with no real nutrients to them. If you're serious about shedding those pounds and getting your weight back on the right path, you'll stay away from fast food. Eat like a king for breakfast, a prince at lunch, and a pauper for dinner. Ever hear the phrase? It has some truth behind it. Eat early on to jumpstart your metabolism and give you enough energy to last comfortably until lunch. And then for dinner, begin to wind down and eat the smallest meal of the day. Here are some examples of meals you could cook for yourself during the day with one snack in between. Breakfast, egg white omelet with spinach and chicken breast, along with a banana and some fresh blueberries. Lunch, leftover salmon steak over quinoa with a small salad. Snack, handful of pistachios. Dinner, bok choy, carrot, mushroom, and pepper stir fry. Step number three, exercise. Get in the habit of warming up or stretching before going all out. Put on some of the best, most motivating 80s dance music and get ready to get ready. Warming up and stretching will help you get the most out of your exercise. Plus, who can exercise when they're injured? Examples of warm-up exercises include 20 push-ups, 20 sit-ups, and 20 burpees. Burpees are when you jump in the air, then drop down, do a push-up, and repeat. Running in place intensely for one minute, and then switching to one minute of light jogging in place. Touch your toes, stretch your arms in tandem, get those quads and hamstrings loosened, and don't forget your torso and neck. Try interval training. Interval training is where you do really intense activity for only a short period of time and then moderate or light intensity work for the majority of the time. Scientists have found in several studies that people who do interval training actually end up exercising for shorter periods of time and burning more calories than people who go at medium intensity for their whole workout. Make use of cardio machines. If you don't have some cardio machines with you at home, consider joining a gym so that you can use some. Try out the following cardio machines and see which ones work best for you. Treadmill. The treadmill might actually feel worse than free running, but it's definitely better than nothing. Try to find a nice fast pace that keeps you sweating. Elliptical. You can set a different resistance strength for most ellipticals, making this a good strength training slash cardio dual workout. Stationary bike. If you take a spinning class, get ready to have your butt kicked. Spinning class on the stationary bike is a great way to lose weight. Do exercise and do it double time. You'll probably need to exercise twice as much to meet your goals. Better pick a couple exercises that you really like because chances are you'll be doing a lot of them in order to burn 10 pounds in a week. You might want to set aside four hours a day in order to exercise. Two two-hour sessions broken up in the middle with a break. If you need any motivation, just think of all the weight you're saying goodbye to and the fabulous body that you'll be welcoming in no time flat. Good luck! If you understand how calories work and follow the above steps consistently, you'll lose a great deal of fat. A seven-day diet plan to lose 10 pounds should be used as a guide or stepping stone to a healthier lifestyle, which will enable you to stay lean and keep the pounds off in the long term.